As we continue on our Pillars of Discipleship series, we mentioned today we're going to be talking about learning together, and so I thought we'd do something fun as we learn together. So we are actually going to do some Bible trivia by section. Do you think we can do that? I'll show you, pick, I'll show you uh, questions on the screen. You'll get a multiple choice option. All right, here's our first question. How many books are in the Old Testament? 39, 27, 44, 66. The easy thing for our, uh, our, our writers here is just to write the letter down as to what you think the answer is. A, B, C, or D. 39, 27, 44, or 66. Take a second. Writers can write down when they feel like they've got the right answer or they've got an answer. Take a couple seconds. There's only four options, so at some point you just got to write some down. Scott and Suzanne are abstained. They, they are our guinea pigs, so they're abstained. AV is abstained. They're our guinea pigs. All right, are we ready to show our answers? One, two, three, lift them up. Okay, okay. Okay, AAAC, the correct answer is A39. So we've got, I'm trying to think of how we can see this one, one. One, and then, and then our, our board chair section has zero. So um, I'll, keep, I'll keep score up here. All right, next question. <laughs> well, I saw you had the right answer at first and then changed it. All right, how many, how many people were aboard Moses' ark? Is it A, zero, B, two, C, four, or D, eight? Take a moment. There are five questions today. Are we good? Are we good? <laughs> All right. Let's hold up our answers in three, two, one. Okay, okay. What is that one? All right, yeah, we, we, all, we all got it. Nobody fell for my dirty tricks. Moses did not have an ark. Nobody fell for my trick. Moses does not have an ark. It was Noah. You are sharp. I thought I was going to get somebody, but I, but I didn't. Good. All right. Next question. Where did Jesus turn water into wine? Where did Jesus turn water into wine? It's the first miracle recorded in the Gospel of John. Where did Jesus turn water into wine? Is it A, Nazareth, B, Jerusalem, C, Capernaum, or D, Cana? I think as long as Tencent's playing the song, we're allowed to put it on the internet. I don't know. We'll find out. All right. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Hold up our answers. We got D, what, uh, Jerusalem, D. All right. Everybody's right except this section. It, is, it, happens, it happens at the wedding at Cana. It happens at the wedding at Cana. So we've got two, three, three. All right. It makes sense to me. Kevin said the wedding at Cana, Jesus is just a, a huge partier, and he just needed to keep the party going, so he made more wine for everybody. How long was Lazarus dead, Jesus' friend Lazarus, dead before Jesus healed him? Was it A, one day, B, two days, three C days, or D, four days? Three C days? It's like a... Uh, like, 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 uh, like Buzz and Home Alone. A, two, and three. All right, do we have our answers? What do we got? C, C, is that a D? C, you're right. You caught up. All right, the correct answer is four days. There's something to do about uh, cleanliness ritual, rituals and that Lazarus had passed the number of days that you could interact with the dead body. All right, there we go. All right, uh, is it, next one. This is the last one, right? I don't know what to do with the tie as far as how we pick the hymn. I guess we'll just let Scott pick it. I don't know. Uh, which? <laughs> All right, the last question. Which, which gospel tells the parable of the prodigal son? Is it Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John? Yeah, you're, this section is mathematical. I guess you're not eliminated. You could tie it if you're the only one to get it right. 
Which gospel tells the parable of the prodigal son? Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John? All right. Our Jeopardy, our Jeopardy ditty is over. Let's see what we got. One, two, three, hold them up. C, 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 B, you are wrong. Right, right, right. It's the gospel of Luke. So we have, what, a, t- a two-way tie here? We'll just have to see whoever can scream the loudest when I say, let's sing our closing hymn together. Somebody will scream it out, and we'll sing it together. We may have to use the hymn books. I don't know how fast our AV team can be on that, but I've probably written some checks that we can't cash, but that's all right. 